So what does that mean? What does it mean having an entrepreneurial mindset and being entrepreneurial? Maybe you don't want to start your own business and you're like, well, I don't want to take all that risk. I don't want to uh, build my own company. But no matter what career path you choose for yourself, having that entrepreneurial mindset, having the ability to turn problems into opportunities is tremendously valuable. And that's why at Deakin University, we teach entrepreneurship. We have the Spark program where aspiring entrepreneurs can come in and, and learn about what it means to be entrepreneurial and work with innovation projects. You can get mentoring from experienced local uh, entrepreneurs, both virtually and in person. Uh, you might be able to apply for some seed funding and you can take different types of entrepreneurship courses that we offer here at the university. Um, but for anyone out there who might not go to Deakin, uh, what we're talking about in relation to to the entrepreneurial mindset is this ability to become a self-starter. And that's also what employers are looking for. You don't want to micromanage all your employees. You want people that see a problem and then you go fix it, right? That's really the core essence of being an entrepreneur is that you're a problem solver. You don't wait for somebody to give you permission or to tell you what to do. You see a problem and then you're proactive about finding solutions. You have a very experimental type of mindset. So you're not afraid to fail. You know that uh, the path to success is paved by stones of failure. Um, you know that you sort of need to make some of those mistakes in order to learn from it and to get closer to a successful outcome. Um, so we strongly encourage people to uh, be okay with making some mistakes along the way. Uh, and that's also in a place like Silicon Valley what investors are looking for. They're looking for people who have that mindset of failing fast uh, and then learning from it so they can get closer to the right solution, right? Failing faster is failing cheaper because you avoid making, uh, spending too much money and too much time building a product that no one wants. And the same goes really within uh, a larger corporation where traditionally most large enterprises are very bad at this. If you have a new idea, we'll allocate X millions of dollars to, for you to build this product. And then two years later, you find out that it sucks and no one cares about it. Right? Uh, today we talk a lot about the lean startup, which is essentially a more efficient way of doing product development, where you test it and you try to sell it before you build it. Um, so uh, this sort of more agile approach will allow you to test what customers actually care about uh, before you spend too much money building uh, the product. So you, you constantly build what we call an MVP, a minimum viable product, some type of experiment that allows you to test the riskiest assumptions uh, of your business. And then you go through that iterated process of building an MVP, sending it out to customers, getting feedback on it, learning from that data, coming up with new ideas, building a next version of that minimum viable product, sending that out to customers. And you go through that process over and over again, getting closer and closer to product market fit. Uh, so really what you um, want to do in relation to uh, working on your own mindset is to constantly try to challenge yourself to come up with more ideas. Right? So every morning before you even get out of bed, you take your note block and you try to write down 20 cool ideas for solving X problem. And, right? and that will start changing uh, the way you think. You'll start building your, your own uh, entrepreneurial confidence and your creative confidence and start believing that you can actually come up with good ideas. And what you do then is that you don't just you know, lock all those ideas up in a box. You start sharing them openly. It turns out that ideas are worthless without execution. So there's no point in trying to uh, you know, hide your idea and keep it secret because the idea itself is not worth, le wor um, worth anything in and by itself. It's only worth something if you can execute on that idea. So that's why we encourage all uh, employees and entrepreneurial um, students to share their ideas openly, get a ton of feedback early on, and that way be able to, to execute more successfully.